Now this right here is a glider airplane and somehow they have always fascinated me quite a bit. How are these things able to fly without having an engine? You know, it's quite simple. Honestly, all there is that we are kind of on a runway and we need a plane to tow us up into the air, kind of like this Super Cub right here where we release the brakes right now. We can see this airplane start to move and so we are starting to be towed along. Very, very simple. Oh, okay. No, we did it. Oopsie. That is a bit wing strike. Don't worry. Yes, yes, yes. Look at that. And sooner or later, we're able to achieve liftoff, of course. Yep, because this guy has taken off. We're just going to stick around with him for a bit of a while until we've reached an altitude. Oh, that's not okay. Sorry. No trouble. No trouble. No trouble. We're back. We're so locked. And sooner or later, we can release this towing rope. So let's do that. And now all that powers us is the sun. See, gliders, in order to stay afloat or even climb, use the so-called thermals to fly. Now, how does as that work, the sun heats the ground, and you know that big hot air rises up. That is in form of like big parcels of humid air, which then raises quite a lot, up to a lot of altitude. And the sole idea of glider flying is catching those pockets of air, catching those thermals in order to fly. Now, luckily, the thermals today are quite high. As you can see, the thermal rate is 12 and a half, which in theory should let us fly quite well, yeah, especially when you reach like higher altitudes. We're here in the Southern Alps and at noontime when the sun hits on the grass, that really heats that air down there up, raising it up. Look at that, we've got a thermal rate of 12 and a half meters per second. Now in real life, you would turn on the audio of the variometer, which actually is measuring that. And you can kind of hear out for thermals. Yeah. I think that is a thermal right here. Now, honestly, this is a truly fascinating way of flying that I still don't quite get because I've never done it in real life. Like, how do you properly catch those thermals? But some people are able to do impressive things with airplanes that don't have engines. Only in 2023, the world record of the longest glider flight ever done was set 3,000 kilometers, 1,800 miles, 17 hours in the air. But it gets really interesting when we talk about gliders that don't just have two seats, but are actual aircraft looking aircraft. How in the world does that work? And how in the world are you going to be able to do assault with a glider? Well, okay, to be honest, they were towed along by another aircraft for the majority of the flight, so yeah. But the good thing about glider aircraft is that there are actually, I think, not really limits. The way they work is by having insanely huge wings that are immensely wide as well. And look, we're able to climb, ladies and gentlemen. This is amazing. So today, let's do a challenge. Can we put can we, um, I mean, this ladder right here, the AS-21, weighs like, what, 360 kilos? And an airliner like this, the A320, which for some reason has a problem, that's a different story, that's a different video, weighs at least 42 tons, which is, you know, just shy of 116 times bigger. Uh, but once again, there are not really limits to gliders as long as the wings are big enough. Ladies and gentlemen, as long as as the wings are big enough. And what I've done here is scaled the AS-21 wing sections by 100 or so times. And so we've got a plane that makes no noise on the runway. We've got a plane that is not very self-sufficient at all. Uh, an A320 whose systems don't even work at all because I've been able to significantly reduce the internal weight by removing the fuel tanks completely. Because it doesn't need fuel, ladies and gentlemen. Well, maybe it would be nice to be able to power the APU, but you know, this is... It's very interesting. Now, how do we get off in this plane? I don't even know what's gonna fly, but let's see. Now, I've just selected a winch launch. Now, in real life here at the Samadan Airport, gliders actually do fly, and they use a winch, which you could see somewhere over there. Most of the time, it's a little truck down there that is able to, um, you know, pull the airplane close to it in the air. Um, well, the thing is, it's probably not able to... Um, carry like 40 tons let's see full power well not full power i was gonna say that the winch is giving full power um not necessarily noisy though look at that wingspan by the way this thing barely fits this is actually a ridiculous sight isn't it we wouldn't be able to fly here or at least park anything on the ramp here because we just clip into stuff we've just there we go are barely missing this plane, but everybody, as it turns out, the winch launch is very incapable of moving 40 tons. Uh, we need something better. How about maybe this? A Cessna Skyhawk, which right now is going to pull us. 
Oh, that's funny. It's actually una unable to pull us at all. I don't really know what the point of this whole video is, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Never mind. I forgot. We were going to see if we could actually make glider airlines to do uh, less carbon footprint stuff. Well, the real big problem is getting this thing up into the skies in the first place. We definitely need a bigger plane. And I know, man, for the job. How about this? A 737. And it's giving full power already. And we're going to be towed by them. I very much like this. Yes. Proper man for the job indeed. Look, it's able to fly. Uh, or, well, at least go. And let's... Okay, let's not do it. Wait, I'm, I'm very much in capable of flying gliders properly it's not really this glider in itself being a problem it's me being <gasps> wait we've taken off we've taken wait we've taken off we've taken off we've taken off and so we've got positive rate let's put that landing gear up which we are able to do and ladies and gentlemen at a shy airspeed of 100 whoa okay don't worry about it don't worry about it we can still take off come on 737 go ahead go fly go Okay, this has definitely gone downhill. This 737 has not the power to uh, take out the both of us. And so we're definitely cooked. And uh, yeah, we're kind of like halfway launched now. But this is really interesting to see. Of course, this is aerodynamically simulated. Got a wingspan of definitely like a few hundred meters. I haven't actually measured it, but look at it. We are able to somehow glide. Now, we will not get much success here because at such a low altitude, there's not much thermal. And so it is quite impressive that this thing actually glides well. Honestly, Sully would be amazed by my little thing. We might want to crash it into trees, though. That makes it a bit uncomfortable. Look at the big ailerons moving. So I'm trying to turn around now, which is definitely... Um, oh, oh, oh. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry. Just a little minor what in the world is going on look at our special a320 everybody i'm very much proud i i we definitely need a stronger airplane don't we well this might be appropriate this is the concord and we're like right behind it so that afterburner actually burns us not very nice for some reason it's a very quiet concord too but it's actually able to gain a lot of speed here now come on look at that ladies and gentlemen we're definitely rolling that is a good start Let's get the landing gear up again. Look at that. The Concorde is taking off. That's exactly what I want because we need a plane to give us some proper altitude. Okay. They have died. But it's propelled us into a lot of speed. We're now at almost 200 knots. And so we're able to climb crazy daisy lift. Now, granted, uh, this was not necessarily successful. Well, anyway, look at this right now. We've got quite the terminal rate going on here. But let's not go into the shadow. I don't like that because, you know, we won't have sun to heat up the grass over there. So let's go and turn around. Please turn around. Make a turn. Make a turn. You're fine. Oh, oh, never mind. You're not fine. You're not fine. You're not fine. You're not fine. We def... The terrain isn't really helping, is it? Maybe we can save it. Maybe we can save it. It's just a problem that this thing is just so big that it's like super uh, incapable of maneuvering the valley. No, never mind. Look at that. Well, we might actually die now. Don't stall. Don't stall, little one. Okay, this is definitely a chaotic flight. We're, we are... No, I don't want to go there. Yeah, we might need a longer runway or more appropriate location overall. No problem. This is where we also get into a bit of a problem of glider flying, because you can't do it above every surface, you know? The, you know, the realism of actually turning this into a point A to point B airliner is a bit problematic. Also, weather would be a problem. Also, night would be a problem. Anywhere where the sun can't hit the ground for it to heat up. Water doesn't heat up very much either, like the air around it, I think. So, glider flying above ocean, I don't think it's very possible, uh, especially in our uh, plane. Anyway, look at this. We now have a longer runway. Uh, we do have a city right there. I believe some thermals could be able to be created there. Let's go full power. Also, here we are at sea level, which makes our performance a lot better. We can hear the 737 giving all its hat. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we just have to follow the 737 for quite a while. No, 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 Whoa, it's like a sort of crazy version of the 737, but this is fine. Let's go ahead and put the landing gear up. Okay, 737, I believe in you. Oh my god, what in the world? This day of peace died. Anyway, look at this. We, uh, this has definitely not worked again. Great, but we're now at a good speed. Go ahead and maintain that, which is not necessarily possible, even here with a longer. We need to get up in the air, man. Let's just pretend this, no, none of this happened. I actually want to fly now. So let's go ahead and maybe have this scenario. And we're now on a gliding A320 at, let's release three and a half thousand feet. The question is, can we get to another airport or maybe just the other side of the island? The problem is about gliding planes is that they're never 
fat. Look, our top speed right now is 80 knots, 87 miles per hour. There's uh, definitely cars that go a lot faster. Um, and this is why there are not really passenger um, gliders, because they're kind of dumb. Anyway, let's say if we're able to like maintain altitude. Three and a half thousand feet, we want to stay at that. We right now have got full thermal rate, got full sunshine right here. And the truth is we are uh, sort of incapable of, we're not able to hold altitude actually. We're losing speed left and right. We're just a big glider now, a big version of the Sully plane. The question is how far can we go? Funny thing is the autopilot still works. So let's go have it fly the plane. Yeah, no A320 foot could cl glide for this long. Uh, see if we can make it all the way. Uh, you know what? Let's try to make it across this mountain. I'm using two times speed now. Trouble is maintaining 2,000 feet impossible without losing speed and dying. Yeah, it turns out thermals just don't have enough energy. And I guess are proportioned in like smaller pockets, right? To carry this just big wing at the same time, right? So yeah, mm -hmm. we're looking good. Still gliding at three times speed. Very realistic. Can we make it please a crop? We're, we are not gonna do that, are we? We can try to like fly near the coast here because that always gives us strong thermals. No, don't die. You're okay. You're a strong A320. You have already glided for uh, a couple of miles. Um. Oh, oh my God. Oh, you're okay. You're okay. You're Use these winds right here. Use these winds. And... Oh, oh no, we're gonna crash. We're gonna crash. We've died. Hey, that was the top record. A few, uh, uh. You know what? I do just wonder about how is it like to land an A320 at 60 knots? So let's go ahead and pull that off. All right, just glide nicely. You are a glider now. That's what you are. You are a glider and you fly pretty shitty. You're okay. You're not okay, are you? You're not okay. You're not okay. You're not okay. I've got very poor control of this plane. Okay, I'm ready. Let's not do a wing strike. Pull up. That was a pretty ass landing. Even considering the 60 knots, that was bad. We don't have reverse thrust now, and we barely have any nose. We are steer and we're off. This has been the worst video I've ever done. Well, in theory, big gliders could happen. They just don't really, I guess, because like there just can't be enough thermals to carry that 40 tons in this relatively small, still wingspan. It really only works on a relatively small scale. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my support. Orders. Guns Killer, R27, James Duram, That Dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishijitsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New the York. You've got beautiful names.